Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, but this isn't a private reading so it may not be for you. It may not have your name on it. Um, this is for the whole month of December. So keep in mind that it may not resonate on the 1st. You may need to watch it on the 10th or the 25th, you know? So keep that in mind. What do we have for Pisces? Not accepting private readings at this time. Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? <laughs> woman holding coin. So here we have a woman that has money. <laughs> you know, she has stability, she has security, she's a hard worker. She has a lot to offer. So, you know, if you are the woman watching this, this is probably you. If you are the man, you are probably interested in a woman that has her shit together. But here, I mean, we have a woman here that she's got the gold. I mean, she's got the gold in her hand. She's, she's a hard worker. And if you're the Pisces man, this is the woman that you have your eye on. And she does she is stable and she is and she is secure. She's because she's such a hard worker. She probably has a cat. Um if you are the woman that is watching this, this is probably you. Very abundant. Right where you need to be. You have a lot to offer at this time. So don't sell yourself short. In any way, because you have a lot to offer if you are the woman watching this. This is a woman, it's not a man, okay? What does Pisces need to know? Everybody can see this woman's abundance, too. So keep that in mind. It's evident that this woman is... <laughs> she's got her shit together. And everybody can see it, you know? She's got everything she needs because of her hard work. I mean, look at, look at what she's dressed in. She's sitting in, like... What's this? This is like a couch. It's got gold on it. I mean... Yeah, I mean, this, you could say that this is, I mean, you could say that this is the Queen of Pentacles. You could. I mean, this does look like the Queen of Pentacles. Any reader could see that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very secure and stable. So if you're the woman, you're, you, you, hey, you've got a lot to offer and somebody sees it. If you're the man, this is the woman you're dealing with. She's got it, got it going on. Oh, I just want to be happy. The Five of Swords. Oh, it's my worst card, but thank you, Lord. It is reversed. I no longer have anything to prove. I just want to be happy. This is stepping out of ego. It is upright. It's it's a it's an ego card. Upright. It's I'm going to step out of my ego because happiness is what matters most at this time. Oh. King of Pentacles, but it's reversed. So somebody has been focused on everything but love. Money. Perhaps even some illegal dealings. Maybe they've been getting their money illegally. You know, through drugs, whatever, stealing. Um, this is somebody that is not interested in love. Oh, well, of course. 
The Queen of Pentacles. I knew she was here. And you see, she that's why she's holding the coin. She's holding the... This is the Queen of Pentacles up here. You guys are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's no doubt. Okay? There's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn all over. And we've drawn four cards. Okay? So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, both of these people are in reverse. Both of these people are not feeling abundant. They are not getting the love. They're focused on their coin. Okay? There's no love here. It's all about money. It's all about possessions. It's all about materialism. Both the man and the woman in this situation are having power struggles. And a lot of it is caused because of money. And money is, you know, the need for money is driven by ego. So, I mean, I don't know where that message is coming from, but... Both of these people are not really focused on love as much as they should be at this point. We're going to get a bunch more cards, and I am going to adjust that camera in just a minute, and I can tell that it's not correct. Oh, dead-end situation. Now, there's been, somebody has taken a break in their... I mean, you look at this card, there's like... A, sadness, right? I mean, this person is like, oh my God, what has happened? What has happened? This is, this has died. This has really, really died because somebody, pro I mean, if you look at the four of swords before the four of swords is the three of swords. They wallowed in their hurt and didn't take action. Now something has died. Something is died. Okay. Because somebody didn't step out of their ego, something like that. Somebody was trying to prove themselves for too long, and now something has died. The feeling, this is feelings. This is thoughts, exactly. It's thoughts, thoughts and feelings. Something has died. Somebody has given up. Hmm. I just got to fix the camera because it's bugging me. So bear with me as I do that. Something ain't right. Somebody must touch my camera. I don't know who. Whatever. Death of an idea here. Death, it's over. I mean, that's a casket. There's a death. It's like sadness over the death of this soulmate connection. I mean, this is the soulmate connection. It absolutely is. And it could be with any... I mean, this is... The, when you get the king and queen of the same suit in the reading, especially this close together, there's a soulmate connection that has died. Okay? And it's because somebody's ego was too big. They weren't focused on love. They were focused on money. Focused on their pentacle. Oh, yeah, definitely. And now, oh, goodness, let me get the rest. They're sad and they're depressed. And they feel guilty. Somebody feels guilty for not putting in effort, for not making compromises, for not appreciating, for not respecting the other person. And it's mutual. Okay? It's mutual. Both people, both people feel guilty for not working together. That this card is not working together. And here's the guilt and the sadness and the depression that this has died. Now, this is, an, uh, this is a messenger, the page of pentacles, that they're, to, you know, to start over. This page starts over. Starts at the beginning. This is also Taurus Virgo Capricorn. There's a lot of earth energy here. A lot. This is in regards to stability and security at this time. You know, somebody's ego got in the way and they chose the wrong path. There's still no love here. And perhaps now somebody wants a new op, wants to start over. Now, this could be an apology. Somebody finds their moral backbone to come with a new beginning because this is a new beginning. Hmm. 
After they lacked respect and togetherness and compromise, there was a lack of communication, there was a lack of appreciation, somebody feels guilty because of that. Guilty that this has died. And now they may tell the truth, okay? The high priestess reversed, like the truth may come out. There's been a lot of secrets, and this has caused one of these people to go through a repression, you know, a repression, because of what has happened. Queen of Cups, there you are. Your intuition has been telling you something in regards to love. That you need to put love first. Love matters. You need to you need to act with compassion. This is happiness. This is commitment. This is coming together I think that there's an opportunity to build a new foundation for their foundations this is a card of commitment somebody has been hiding because of commitment fear of commitment And now they feel guilty or they feel hurt because they didn't love enough to commit. But there is an opportunity to find happiness here. There absolutely is. But there's lack of working together. Somebody, I mean, these two people have to work together and, and some, and they haven't worked together. Keeping secrets from each other instead of being loving and kind and compassionate with each other. That's how it should have been, right? No secrets. You can't have secrets and make a relationship work. It doesn't work like that. You have to open yourself up romantically. I mean, really open up your heart for a commitment to last. So let's see what else we can get for Pisces. It looks as though there's, there's a message coming in, because this is a messenger. Somebody is coming in with a genuine Solid offer to start at the beginning. I mean, that's what this is. That's what this card is. Somebody is coming with a solid, stable offer to start over. And this card went flying out, so we're going to take it. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there was a one-sided situation. Somebody didn't get what they deserved. There was an equal reciprocation here. Or that's happening right now. Somebody's not recipro reciprocating and they're in a one-sided situation. And there's been a lack of balance and harmony because of it. And now we have somebody who's discontent and can't see. Or they may start to, or they're realizing that they've lost an opportunity. This is a missed opportunity. Because somebody is focusing on the hurt, not seeing that there's an opportunity for love. There is, if you could just look at it, if you could take it, if you could reach out and take that opportunity for love. Instead of focusing on the hurt, instead of focusing on everything else. Somebody is absolutely really, really discontent and unable to see that there is an opportunity for love here. 
refusing, refusing to just see it. Choosing not to see it. Why? Why? Because of commitment? Now there's an opportunity to make it. You have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. You're at a crossroads. Are you going to go back? Or are you going to move forward? This is a decision needs to be made. It's time to make that decision. Somebody, you know, the two of wands can often signify somebody that is may have may be thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. They get to the other side and they realize that it wasn't greener. And now there's a lack of contentment because they probably made the wrong decision. There's a feeling of restlessness here. And somebody's in the process of deciding, the decision, making a decision. Should I go back or should I keep moving forward? It's like you have the opportunity for love right now. You do. Because this is the Ace of Cups being offered to somebody. But it's like, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. And now you have to choose. You have to choose. Do you do you want to go back or not? That's what this card is. Mm. Lack of abundance where you're at, right? There's lack of abundance. There's lack of feeling secure. Um, somebody is not happy about how things turned out because it's ungrateful. Things aren't going as planned. Things aren't as stable and secure as they thought they were going to be. And if there's loneliness here. Whether you're in a relationship or not, there's loneliness. And it's not bringing abundance into your life. And there's lack of closure as well. So there's some sort of situation that is not making another person rich you know rich comes in many forms there's lack of richness here lack of abundance and it looks as though there's some sort of insecurities that are coming to the surface because There's a lot of regrets. I mean, there's regrets. There is. I mean, there's regrets because somebody, I think somebody thought the grass was going to, going to be greener on the other side. And they, they went and they went and they got independent and made some sort of decision to go in a new direction and they, they had some sort of loss because there's definitely financial loss here too as well. And if this isn't financial loss, this is stability. There's this, in, this is security. This is a loss of, I mean, there is with the King and Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, all reversed. There is a huge loss here. And it's a loss of abundance, whether it's actual money or inner abundance, lack of richness here. There's been a loss and there absolutely has been a lost opportunity in love as well. And somebody is having regrets. Maybe now this money is, this woman is rich. Imagine that. Who would have thought? Anyhow, there's uh, definitely some sort of sadness here because somebody has 
not chosen the right opportunity and they've refused to see it and now you know this is the five of wands there's some power struggles here and somebody has is needing to give up the fight it's not really a competition it's not but somebody's treating it like it's a competition and who wants to compete in love nobody ego does Ego does, but this person's stepping out of their ego. So somebody here is stepping out of their ego. I just want happiness. I want a new beginning. I don't want to play this game anymore. Somebody is not wanting to play this game anymore. And they've made a decision or they're about to make a decision to tell the truth. To expose the truth. To stop blocking the truth. It looks like somebody is going to come clean to me. Like a decision is being made to no longer avoid the truth. <laughs> oh, God. The Seven of Wands. It's like there's been a lot of criticism here. Somebody may have misjudged a situation and now they are going after what they want. There's been a lot of indecision here, and I think that somebody is about to perhaps put up a fight. Here, This is a fight, and this is a fight. Put up a stink, put up a fight for what they want. Interesting. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, my goodness. So, I think there's going to be some truth that is revealed. In regards to love, some there's a soulmate connection here, and it and I think that there was probably some money issues that have or insecurities, abundance, whatever. There's been some financial problems in the past that have um, caused a lot of grief. Okay cause a lot of grief and now somebody has some regrets that this relationship has died and they don't want to be alone anymore whether they were with somebody or not you can be living with somebody and still be alone somebody's been feeling alone and they have been living with regrets that something died ah the death card Oh, it's not over yet. It's really not dead yet. There's still some life left. A little bit. Tiny bit. It's really close to the end. Really, 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 really close. Like... Like, hanging by a thread. But it's getting old. Holding on is getting old. And it's about ready to really, really end. Oh, the Empress. Yes, of course. Oh, God. The Empress is a Taurus or a Libra, could be anybody else, but is represented by Venus, which is Taurus and Libra. Anyway, so we have a woman here that is very beautiful. She does have money. She has looks. She has grace. She has life experience, and she doesn't settle. She's dealt with a lot of pain. And she has, to get to the Empress, she has to give birth. And to give birth, there's pain. So we have a woman here. Could be you, Pisces. The Pisces woman, because this is a woman, that has dealt with a lot of pain and come right into her own. Internally and externally. This woman has risen back up to the top. 
and now it appears that everybody can see it. She's absolutely glowing. When you get into Empress mode, you are glowing. You are. You're the pick of the litter when you are in Empress mode. So you are, and this is a birth of something new. So if you are a woman watching this, be prepared to have a new beginning. And this is the end of a troublesome situation, a troublesome time. It is. And the beginning of a new one. So you have a new relationship coming. You do. That's going to lead to happiness. But that last thread needs to be cut. The last thread needs to be cut. To get your miracle, because the Empress receives a miracle at the end of her, what is that called? <laughs> when the baby is growing, fertilization, whatever it is, you know, I can't ever think of the freaking word, but I'm sure somebody will enlighten me below. Anyway, um, at the end of her period of growth, she receives a miracle. So you are going to receive a miracle, something that is very abundant for the woman. And if you are the man watching this, you're the one making the offer to this woman that is about ready to let go. But she's still holding on. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why she's holding on. Ah! Yeah, I think it's probably just about over. It is. This is a breakup. It's probably like... <laughs> I can't. I can't hold. This thread is too thin. And she knows it. We have the woman here. We have a woman here that is... Going to have a new beginning because one relationship is ending. A relationship is ending. I mean, I can't. I can't pretend. I can't. Somebody didn't accept the opportunity or they didn't make an offer. There's a relationship that is ending. Absolutely. And we have a woman that is starting over. Absolutely. She's starting a new life. And she's going to have a new relationship. She is going to have a new relationship because she has her shit together. And whatever she was holding on to wasn't destined to be. Okay? De Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's not destined. Going back won't bring anything good. And she doesn't want to be manipulated and lied to and deceived again. So I think we have a woman that is going down a new path for that Two of Wands. She's, she's deciding to cross that bridge and cut that last thread or that or he is could be either way we have because we have the we have man and we have a soul a soulmate connection here and that is dying because there was a lack of appreciation, lack of togetherness, lack of communication, lack of remote mutual respect. Somebody didn't put in the effort. They didn't open their heart when they should have. They focused on everything but love. And now there's a, there's a split. And we have the emperor on the bottom. This is a soulmate connection. The emperor and empress. We definitely have a soulmate connection here. In which somebody is going to be on their own. I mean, there's a split here. There's a, there is. There absolutely is. And with the Nine of Pentacles as well, it's like, even if it's reversed, it's like, I'd be better off on my own than pretending that this is abundant. It's not abundant. So I see that there is a completion. This is a 10. This is a 10. Of a relationship that wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. 
and somebody has held on to it for quite some time and I think it's the woman it could be the man though because we had the man here too and we had the man it could be either or maybe both both have held on but I feel like closure is coming in December and it's going to lead somebody down a new path towards richness So we have somebody here that is going through some sort of split from somebody that was very manipulative and controlling and heading in a new dir direction towards abundance. Do I see that new love is coming in? Eventually, not. I don't see it coming in December, no. Because I see, I see that this is the beginning of something new. The very beginning. And this is starting over as well. It's starting over. At the beginning. So hey, I mean there could be new love. But I think this is a new stability. A new... Um, you could be even moving, put it that way. It's like starting over in a new direction. Starting at zero, it's like starting from scratch. And I think I may have said that in a different reading from you, for you. Receiving a blessing for dealing with the pain that you've been through. Receiving a reward. So yes, I feel like there's an ending here that is finally received. Somebody is, is getting the closure that they need to move in a new direction towards happiness. Yes, there's been regrets and there's been sadness and there's been hurt, but it's time to take back control of, of your life. So, so that's what's happening here. Somebody is moving away from a manipulative situation where there's no more compatibility. There is no more compatibility. There's no more... Love and they're finding the strength and the the ability to love themselves with that Queen of Cups. It's like self love, right? But they need to release these regrets and these worries and this guilt because there's no need to hang on to that. There is no need to hang on to that. Chalk it up to a lesson learned, okay? You may feel like you've been attacked. You may feel like you are a victim here, but it was a lesson learned. It was. It was a karmic lesson that needed to be learned with the Wheel of Fortune. It really was. And now this cycle is ending for once and for all, and you can start on your new path. You're going to start the new year out on the right foot, trust me. So yeah, it looks as though... This ending, this closure that you are about to receive is exactly what you need to bring success to your life. So yeah, you guys are going to receive some sort of closure on a situation that uh, died probably some time ago, but the actual death is going to happen this month, you know, where the, you know, it's done. There's no looking back. Yes, there has been some deception. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. There's ultimate deception here. This right here is a very manipulative, controlling uh, trickster. Very cunning. This is a very tricky individual who is sneaky as hell. So yeah, we have a very sneaky, tricky... Um, <laughs> manipulator that has been deceiving and perhaps now the truth is going to come out or, or somebody just realizes that this is false it's a lie and the mask is get taken off and the truth is accepted. 
attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yes, enjoy yourself. Enjoy this moment. There's no reason to have to prove yourself anymore at this point. You don't need to prove yourself. It's time to just be happy. Be grateful for the experience and enjoy each day as if it was a new day because it is a new day. Every day is a new day. So, Pisces, I feel as though you are going to receive some closure on a situation that <clears throat> has died. And you need this closure. <clears throat> I can't talk. To bring abundance back to your life. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed in regards to a partnership. Twos, we have all these twos. Twos are partnerships. I think we have four twos in this mix. There's going to be a truth with the High Priestess card and the Two of Swords reversed. <coughs> that is revealed. That brings you the closure whether it's you or the cross watcher that is needed so that you can start your new life. It really is a blessing in disguise. And you're going to, if you are of a woman, watching this your attraction is going to increase because of your own inner abundance that happens with this release this closure if you are the man you're going to get your structure back you're going to get your strength back You're going to get your focus and your concentration back. You're going to be back on top. So, whatever is happening in this month that is, that is bringing you the closure that you need, it's an absolute blessing. Enjoy it. Talk to you later.